Hey, my name is Devin Raytush and I'm a real estate agent in the East Bay. And for today's video, I wanted to give a kind of quarter four 2018 market report. Um, and I'm gonna mostly focus on the East Bay, but I'm gonna kind of get into how I think about property values in the Bay Area and kind of how that works. So beginning of December, the market has started to die down a little bit. Um, this does happen every year seasonally, um, kind of after Thanksgiving, the market is much slower, um, but that kind of took hold a little bit earlier than we were expecting this year. I'd say September, when the market kind of gets started up for the second selling season, um, things dropped off a little bit, um, but it depends on where. Like you've probably seen a lot of news articles, um, a lot of big publications have posted articles saying, hey, the housing market's slowing down, things are slower. And that is generally true, but it depends on where we're talking about. So my theory on how this works, I mean, so housing values go up where the jobs are and the tech sector is a big driver of Bay Area real estate. And so kind of um, radiating out from San Francisco and Silicon Valley, um, you'll see property prices rise. So um, Berkeley's expensive, Oakland's expensive. And you get a little bit further out. Walnut Creek's still expensive, um, but Concord, it's a little bit less. And then you get out to Brentwood, it's a little bit less. Vallejo is a little bit less. And so just kind of think about radiating out from San Francisco. That's how prices will be. Um, and so in the outer areas, those markets are starting to fall off a little bit. We're seeing higher days on market. Properties are taking longer to sell. Um, we're seeing more price reductions. However, if you're closer into San Francisco, like I was looking at the stats today, Berkeley, the median price this quarter is actually up to 1.25 million, um, similar to what it was in the spring, um, slightly lower, um, but up from quarter three. Oakland, the same thing. The median price is 850,000, up from 800,000 last quarter. Um, so these cities that are closer in, they're still selling for a lot of money. Um, I have found that if you add condos into the mix, into the statistics, then it will start to look like a falling market, but the single family homes are still selling near um, their highest prices ever. So it's just really important that you kind of break down, okay, what am I looking for and what is that market doing and not just taking the overall picture that you're seeing in the, the New York Times news article about the Bay Area and saying, okay, that's the way the market is. Um, again, as interest rates continue to rise, I do think we will see continued slowing. In the best areas, I think the best houses will still sell for a lot of money, um, but houses that are a little more challenging, um, the one that not everyone can see themselves moving into tomorrow, um, I think you will start to see some price breaks in those homes. So those are kind of my general thoughts on the market. If you have any questions for me, always feel free to reach out. You can give me a call. You can send me a text message or send me an email. I'm always happy to help.